Are you the driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But forget about my rooms because just now I found a big secret in this neighborhood that is a bird nest farming. This is a piece of a palmali. Let me just try this. Good morning YouTube, this is Yan. I am on my longest way back home from Europe to China and right now I'm in Kuala Lipis in Malaysia. Today I am going to take a train that is called Jungle Rail, a train that will cross the jungles. So the train will be arriving in 10 minutes. I am now in a train station. You can still hear the call for prayers. Morning. You work on the train? You are the... Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh. Are you the driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I've just met the driver of our train. The train system in Malaysia is not very complicated. There are two major lines, one in the east, one goes through the central area. So this is a famous jungle rail. It starts from Johor Bahru near Singapore and goes to Tampat near Thailand. And I am here in the center in Kuala Lipis because starting from here, the train will go through the beautiful jungles. In the sleeper train, there are beds on both sides, one upper bed and one lower bed. It's very spacious and there is also curtains to give you some privacy. I guess many of the passengers who take this train are traveling from Singapore to Thailand so they can sleep all the way, it's kind of convenient. But now it's still quite dark, I will explore the train later when the daylight comes. There is no place for you to charge your mobile phone, your electronics in this train, but the bed is quite comfortable, it's very soft. And unfortunately, the window of my sleeper is wrecked, so I couldn't see the views from my window. But other people don't have problems like this. And later I will move forward to go to the place in between the two carriages where the door is open. So from there, I think I can have a good view.
Hello. Uh, what kind of food do you have? Nasi uh, goreng. Can I have one? And drink? Drink tea, coffee, tea and coffee. Okay then, uh, nasi goreng and um, milk tea. For breakfast, I have nasi gori, which means fried rice with an egg, and also I have a cup of um, milk tea. I paid altogether 18 ringgit for two things. Anyway, I am happy that I can have my breakfast now and sitting here in this carriage and enjoy the beautiful view. There are some space where, <laughs> where you can find a place to see the landscape. The door is open and many people are stopping here to have a look at the jungle. One of the many stops on the way, and all the train stations are very small. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Michael. Michael, and yours? Zulaika. Zulaika. Nice to meet you. Hey, the Be careful. Train moving, you cannot only take it. Do you like the train ride? Yeah. <laughs> they enjoy it as much as I do. And since it's a single rail train, the train has to stop somewhere to wait for the other train to pass. That's what we are doing right now. The train has run across so many 
tunnels, so many bridges. I've seen lots of rivers, beautiful jungles. I took so many pictures. And there is only one hour away from the final destination. So I'm going to sleep comfortably till the end. Here I have arrived at Wakabaru train station. I need to go to the hotel first to drop my luggage. I book one of the cheapest hotel in the town and I hope it's not too bad. This is a 46 ringgit room. Again, I've got no windows, but I've got a big bath and I've got my bathroom so it was a surprise but forget about my rooms because just now i found a big secret in this neighborhood that is a bird nest farming and if you have never heard of bird nest it's a very expensive food mainly consumed by the chinese one kilo bird nest costs about two thousand us dollars and malaysia it's the second biggest production country for bird nest and just now as i was walking this neighborhood i heard a lot of birds singing and then i realized it's the urban bird nest farming area the hotel that i'm staying also sells bird nest one piece cost 223 ringgit that is about 50 dollars for that small piece of bird nest and in the supermarket there is also bird nest product for example this one bird nest water this one cost only five ringgit it's quite quite um affordable but here there is another one wallet bird nest so this one cost 16 per bottle i have no idea what's inside excuse me is a bird nest very famous in this area in this city uh, you want bird nest i'm just interested i want to ask because i heard a lot of bird mm -hmm. so i'm wondering if they are uh, doing a bird nest farming in the buildings or not uh, yes yes can, you can go to uh, inside yeah. i can go inside uh, and have a look yes really yes uh which one <coughs> can you show me Thanks. Yes. Yes. Hello, welcome. So those are the. Ah, yes. The beautiful inside. Inside. So you're working out here. Yes. Thanks. Okay, welcome. Those old urban buildings, abandoned buildings, they are the bird nest farming. You can see there are a lot of small holes on the buildings. And you can also hear the birds singing. There are a lot of bird shit on the ground as well and some dead birds. Like all the ground area, those doors, they are closed. Personally, I've never consumed a bird nest product, but um, back in the old days, I know it's a very expensive food consumed by the emperors, by the royal family, by the rich people, because um, ordinary family cannot afford it. But still right now, it is used in many of the Chinese cuisines, and also it was made into some drinking products, and some people believe that it has some beauty effect on both sides of the street, those are the bird nest factories. So if I get a bit closer, you will understand how loud it is. There is light inside, they are also using the air conditioner to keep the temperature constant. The delicacy of bird nest is made of saliva of the bird and this bird is called white nest sweetlet. 
In the nature, this bird used to build their nest in the caves near the coast area. But in modern times, to increase the productivity, they are turning those abandoned buildings into the bird nest farm. They feed the birds with sparks. They create an ideal environment for them to stay and to breed. Right now, the store is closed. Otherwise, I will be very, very interested to go in and have a look. 燕鳥對現在比較少了現在比較少了從前很多從從前現在因為鳥雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞雞
Yes. Is it uh, from Malaysia? From Thailand. It's a famous Thailand dessert that gets very popular in Kuta, in Kuta Boru. <laughs> Kuba is buffalo. Buffalo. And guli. Yeah. Okay. Guli is roll. Eh? Roll with coconut. So, buffalo roll. Ah, so, the name is Father. Malaysia and Thailand. Yes. Mix. Yeah. So, 30 years ago, so father bring the recipe in Malaysia. Yes. So, we sell it. 30 years ago. So, now they're selling it 30 years ago. Wow. In Malaysia. Wow. In 2018. Yeah. Viral. This one viral. Until now. So let me end today's video from here. This is Kuba Gulin, a Thai dessert originally from Thailand but was brought by the parents of the shop owner many years ago. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos, please give me a thumb up. And see you next time.